neatest book, Red. Every dinosaur is in here. Here's a Triceratops and a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> yeah, I also wonder what a Gofredosaurus would look like. Hello, Dragonfly. There were probably dinosaurs like Fudge and Ellie, too. Hello, Gofredosaurus. Do you want to come with us and look for food? If we're lucky, we might find an Ice Age Ice Creamosaurus! Zowie! What is it? I don't know! Zowie Zow! This is great! It would be fun to be dinosaurs, wouldn't it, Red? <laughs> okay, Red, gotta go. I've got my dinosaur book and my glue. Mr. Moose is going to show us how he finds dinosaur bones. Mr. Moose's truck is here, but where do you think he is? They went that way. Hey, you guys, this way. How come he always knows which way to go, but then he can't find anything in his messy bedroom? Mr. Moose and his volunteers must have built it. Hey, Bartholomew, that's a dinosaur bone. They're not made of wood. Oops. Hiya, guys. Did you see the dinosaur we fit together? I'm calling it Xanomosaurus. I sure did. It almost scared me to death. I'm going to use it to teach people about dinosaurs tomorrow at the dinosaur display in the park. Have you found any living dinosaurs yet? Because I saw this TV show where they said there could be big, scary dinosaurs all around, and we don't see them because they always hide. <laughs> That's funny, Gofred. There aren't any living dinosaurs. But the TV show I saw last year said so. Well, sometimes TV shows make up stories. No one's ever seen a living dinosaur anywhere. That's what I thought. But maybe you're just saying that because that's what you think. Um, yeah, I suppose it is what I think. Come on, you guys. We're going to look for dinosaurs just like Mr. Moose is. Did you hear that? Go Fred said a TV show says there's still dinosaurs around. I knew it was dangerous out here. <laughs> I'm not so sure this is a good spot. Why not? Here and now is a perfect place to start. I found something. Oh, it's a rock. See what I mean? This isn't a good spot. But it's a rock that's shaped like Longear's head. Dinosaur bones are not everywhere, so the chances of finding them here are not very, very... Here's something! This could be it! What? Down here? Hey! This looks like a part of a Xanomosaurus, like Mr. Moose's! And this, too! And these, too! Zowie Zow! We might just have the makings of a whole dinosaur here! We've got a lot of these rocks, but which is for what? That's part of the dinosaur's tail, and that's part of its back. And anyone can see that this one is part of its tail, too. Fudge, you can look through the book and tell us when it looks like a dinosaur. Let's use the dinosaur glue. It'll be like putting a puzzle together. I'm good at puzzles. The dinosaur foot bones connect to the dinosaur ankle bone. Nope. There's no dinosaur that looks quite like that. Oh! It's got to be some sort of dinosaur. I'm sure you'll find it. We're finished. Ta-da! Zowie! It's a real kind of sort of smaller Xanomosaurus. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Don't you think these make me look rather beautiful? You sure look funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk funny. <laughs> and I guess they make me look kind of scary, too. I better take them out or I'll scare everyone. Here's the stuck in my mouth. Oh, no, you guys. They're really stuck. Really, really stuck. Uh-oh. Let me help. <laughs> I can't go anywhere like this. You saw how those people screamed and ran away? Oh. oh, Ellie, if you bury your head, 
we can help get the teeth out. Oh, maybe if we get the teeth wet in water at the lake. You think that will help? And I guess we better bring our dinosaur with us. Maybe Mr. Moose will put it in the dinosaur display tomorrow. Whoa! Sorry, Ellie. They're really stuck. But don't worry. We'll get those teeth off you, won't we, Fudge? I know. We can tie them to the Zanimal wagon and pull them off. Ah! Hold tight! <laughs> My bumper! Oh, jeepers, those teeth sure are on tight. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's go pick up some food, and then we'll go to my house and get those teeth out. Help me put our dinosaur on the roof, and I'll put my bumper in the back. I'm so glad we found you here. We were terrified. It looked just like that, except taller, and the teeth were bigger and, and huge, and it was completely alive. I got a picture of it, but you'll have to get the film developed. Don't you people see? Gofret said dinosaurs were around. And where would they be? They'd be up here, hiding in the woods. That's silly. There are no dinosaurs around. That's a real dinosaur, right? And it came from here. So are we just going to stand around in the middle of a dinosaur invasion? <laughs> See? It is a dinosaur invasion! I'm getting out of here! <gasps> you know Hamlet can get excited, Mr. Moose. Remember when he thought there was a dragon in his fireplace? Hey, Ellie! Zowie! With teeth, now you can have a corn roast! Seriously? I've never eaten corn on the cob before. You're going to love it. We can pick some up at Hamlet's store. When you see all the things that teeth can do, you might be very happy about having them all the time. If I can get used to people screaming and running away from me. No, Ellie, you won't scare anyone. And probably only Hamlet's in the store anyway. You're hiding because of dinosaurs? They're out there. I bet they're planning an invasion. Oh, I think you were out there in the sun too long. <laughs> hey, Hamlet, we're here for some corn on the cob and some apples. And Ellie's with me. And don't be surprised because she... Hamlet, you okay? Ellie, I think something's wrong with Hamlet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hamlet, serve the customers! Hamlet sure woke up when Mrs. Hamlet gave him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Oh, hello, Gofred. Hi, Fudge. Nice dinosaur. <laughs> Wendell, it's Ellie. Ellie? Oh, hey, nice choppers. I thought you were one of those dinosaurs Hamlet's been talking about. Hey, you want to come over for corn on the cob and bobbing for apples? If you can make me some cream corn and applesauce. Um, sure. I have a blender. See, Ellie? You can bob for apples. And you're going to love corn on the cob. Mmm. Good. Though it would be better with swarms in it. <laughs> Oh, I was so close. Maybe you'll do better with the cream corn, Wendell. But I dream of eating corn on the cob. But I don't really look like a dinosaur, do I? Actually, you kind of do. How can I be a hairdresser anymore if I scare everyone away? Don't worry, they'll get used to you. And once you try some corn on the cob, you'll be glad to have those teeth. Corn on the cob is way better than cream corn. Really? Yep. Talk about crunchy. Um, Ellie, I think that's your 17th corn on the cob. Oof. Hey! It's stuck! It's... <laughs> They're out! They're out! I'm my attractive and beautiful self again. Hey, Wendell. Want to try these on for size? Can I? Can I? Oh, boy. <laughs> they work! They work! Mm. This, this 
teeth are great. Zowie, Fudge. Our dinosaur sure looks good here. Yeah! This is our dinosaur display, Hamlet. And this is a dinosaur. And so is this. And so is this, pretty much. And this is not a dinosaur. It's a picture of Ellie we put teeth in. <laughs> look, doesn't Wendell look happy? Although, I'm going to miss being able to eat corn on the cob. Here, Ellie. Fudge and I made them for you. We call them corn chompers. These are fantastic. I bet I can eat corn on the cob and apples. <laughs> Best of all, these chompers won't scare anyone. 